Yo guys, how you doing today? My name's Matt or Skiga, and I'm bringing you another Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, this one's gonna be on, as I'm sure you can tell from the title, yet again. Uh, this one's gonna be, I'm pretty much showing you, uh, what I believe is, like, the best settings in Sony Vegas, like, project property settings, render settings, stuff like that, uh, and contrast, brightness, uh, color correction, stuff like that settings, just to pretty much get you the best possible quality video and put it on YouTube because everyone likes watching good quality HD videos no one wants to watch some shitty video that you recorded on like your iPod and then like did a commentary over and then threw on YouTube and wanted to get 1 million views like that's just not gonna happen the best way to do well on YouTube and I know I'm not one to talk about this but I still like I'm like it's like, think about Stephen Hawking, like, he's not going to the moon, but he can still theorize things about the moon, like, so I'm just telling you guys my thoughts and my opinions, and I know this is just sounding retarded at this point, but I'm just justifying my reasoning here for probably no reason, but, alright, here you just want to go to the settings, um, the project property settings, go to file properties as I just did, and uh, copy down the settings, um, pretty much as I have it here, um, the audio and other stuff isn't that important, but the video is pretty much where you want to be, so the template, make sure you have it on HDV 720 by, uh, 300p, uh, 1280 by 720, 29.97 frames per second, uh, Call of Duty is played in 60 frames per second, but you really don't. Uh, YouTube doesn't, I think it only goes up to 30 frames per second, so you're just doing yourself a disservice if you're rendering in 60 frames per second, because it's just going to take you, like, at least twice as long, probably, and that's just a complete waste of time, but, that, so just do 29.97 frames per second, because that's as close as you're going to get, pretty much, with 1280, height 720, everything else, copy down, none, progressive scan, 1.0, square, uh, output resolution, or whatever that says, rotation, uh, zero, and everything else just go down the list, Gaussian, down there, uh, I don't think anyone really knows what that does, um, so just keep it on Gaussian here, and then, uh, none, deinterlace method, none, uh, don't check adjust source media, leave it unchecked, then, um, you're gonna go down here to, Start all new projects with these settings, and uh, then you're gonna click apply down there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep up with this video because I recorded it before, but honestly, I don't know why the fuck the I recorded the voice, but I just disappeared from my computer somehow. So I'm really pissed about this, so I'm just doing it again, trying to follow what I was doing five minutes ago, and trying to keep up and make this fluid. But, uh, obviously I'm not going to make it look like I'm doing this <laughs> as I'm talking. Just, it's not going to happen. So, um, but here you're just going to want to bring your video down. And, um, if, if you're just looking at your quality, you're going to want to go there and pick the, uh, right above the screen viewing thing. Uh, go to best and full just so you can see how it looks. But if you're just watching it or editing something, just go down to preview and leave it at like half or quarter. Because it'll be a lot less laggy, especially if you have, like, a shitty computer that can't keep up as well. Um, then after you're done that, there, if you can see there's some black bars on the top and stuff, you're going to want to get rid of those. So go to Event Pan Crop, and I have a preset up top, which you can save, but you're going to want to just mess around. Uh, drag the things in. Go to the side. Make sure Lock, as lock Aspect Ratio is checked. Otherwise, you're going to be um, kind of dragging it like this disproportionately. And it's not going to look good, so you want it to be checked, so that way it's going to um, keep the video in one solid uh, kind of movement together, um, keeping it proportionate to each other. So I'm just going to go to my preset up here, PVR. You guys can uh, play around with what looks good. Just make sure the video is touching the sides of the screen so you don't see any black bars. Right-click on it, go down to Properties, and... Um, uh, just click disable resample if you're recording in 480p then uh, you're going to want to click maintain aspect ratio and then go back to the event pan crop and 
so you can get out to the sides, but I highly recommend recording in 720p. It took me a while to figure out how to do that because apparently I'm retarded. If you guys saw a couple of, uh, one of my videos like a couple of days ago, I just figured out how to get in 720p and it's fucking beautiful. I highly suggest it because that's just the shit. So uh, here somehow like I accidentally X'd out of my video effects settings like a couple uh, videos ago when I was like, or when I was editing something and now it's just like fucked up. So here I'm trying to get it back and then the whole thing just gets kind of weird. But here if you don't know you can go to view and then just check all the things that you want it to show. And then just drag this window into the little screen right there. And uh, here we're getting into the uh, like brightness, contrast, color correction settings. A lot of people like to go crazy with color correction settings, but um, a lot of settings are like really arbitrary. Like if you have a map like this, firing range, it's gonna be kind of brightish, and uh, color correction settings like this aren't gonna work on a map like Array or Underpass from Modern Warfare 2 or Moon if you're doing zombies or re stuff like that. So since a lot of those things are kind of arbitrary, I just like to stick with the basic ones. So go to Color Corrector and drag Studio RGB to Computer RGB, the preset there, um, onto the clip. You'll see it darkens some colors a little bit. And on certain maps, you might see a little bit of like a white hazeish, hazeish color kind of thing. That makes it not as clear, so you're going to want to... That's going to help a little bit with that. Then same thing, go to Color Corrector Secondary, drag the Studio RGB to Computer RGB preset onto the clip. It's going to darken some more stuff. Uh, this map, you don't see it as much, but like I said, with darker maps, stuff like that, it's going to kind of crisp in the colors, but it's going to make things a lot darker, and you're not going to be able to see as well, so you're going to want to add some brightness and contrast to it. Um, this map, you like I said, you don't need a lot. If you're going to add any, I think I'm going to show in here that maybe you're going to want to do like .05 or something, but my standard uh, brightness and contrast settings are generally point one and like I said uh, again you can save a preset for this so you don't have to like input it every time you can just go to one of these boxes here and at the bottom it'll have a preset you can title it title it like 0 0.1 something like that so you know what it is and then just drag it back onto the clip and watch it become beautiful but like this on this map I think Sony Vegas generally shows uh, the preview window a little bit brighter than YouTube will so if it's super bright on here it might not be bright but like here I add point zero one or, or just point one I think and it's like a lot brighter than it should be so I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit and somewhere in this area looks pretty good and uh, basically you just gotta mess around with it a little bit and uh, see what you like see what your personal preference is but these are just the general uh, things that I like to show and this is what works for me like 95 percent of the time so I just suggest going with this um, if you don't think it's gonna look right obviously use your best judgment and what I like to do sometimes is, if I'm not sure, take a little bit of chunk of the video, maybe like 10 seconds, uh, cut that out, and then just render it, upload it to YouTube as a private video, and then just see what it looks like. And then if it's like too dark or something, then just go back in to the video and change it. Because like, you don't want to render out a whole like 10 minute video that's going to take you like 2 hours, and then upload it to YouTube and be like, shit, it's too dark. So, um, that's a tip for you guys. If you're not sure about how something's going to look, take a small fragment of it, just upload it to YouTube, and then you can just kind of adjust it like that, and just be sure, because you don't want all your hard work here when you're, like, doing all these color correction settings and stuff to come out like shit, and then you have to do the whole thing again, so, um, yeah, just take my advice on that, I do that all the time, just to make sure things look good, and now this looks pretty good, so we're just going to go to uh, render it out, and, oh, you guys always want to be sure that you're saving. Another thing, um, my computer crashes, and I've lost projects, and it really pisses me off. And sometimes Sony Vegas can recover, which is good. Sometimes it can't, which really sucks. So, especially if you're doing, like, a montage where you're editing clips and cutting things down and putting them in, singing up to music, adding transitions, you definitely want to be saving all the time. I'd say, right when you start a project, right when you drag a clip in, get your settings good, Go to save as, and then uh, just title it whatever you want, and then as you keep doing stuff, just keep saving. Like, almost every time you do something, you should just be saving. But here, I'm just going to show you the render settings. Um, at the top, you can just name it whatever you want. 
I didn't save it because obviously this is just a test and I was already recording the screen anyway. Save as type it should be Windows Media Video V11. That's a .wmv file. And then uh, down at the bottom, um, you're going to go to Custom Settings. And uh, you can title the template whatever you want. The audio settings don't really matter. These are pretty standard, I think. I don't think anything really changes. The template, I'd say just call it like HD... Uh, or YouTube, like HD PVR quality, best quality, something like that, something that you know you're going to remember and you're just going to be using every time. Uh, here we're going to go to the video settings. Mode should be CBR. Format should be, uh, again, Windows Media Video, or whatever that movie video, something like that. Um, sorry, I'm looking on a really small preview screen right now. Um, image size should be the high definition, 1280 by 720. Um, the and then that stuff will be X'd out. Obviously, the width and the height will be already established. The uh, again, that should be 1.0. If you want to get specific, um, a lot of times that video sharpness will be at like 90 or so. You definitely want to bring that up to 100. That's gonna give it the most crisp, uh, clear like picture. And then this other stuff. I'll probably do a video of how to get the best settings just on your recording when you're recording with your HDP VR. But here at the bottom, check like the the bottom thing. I think it says like Internet Land or something, and make sure it's 13.5 because that's where you're gonna want to be recording at uh, with your actual HDP VR when you're recording. And here, one last thing I forgot to do, I went back and showed you guys is you can add a little bit of sharpness. You don't want to go over the top. A lot of people think, oh, I'll just add a shitload of sharpness. That'll make it look awesome. Cause it's just gonna like the more the better no that's not true at all you want to just get you want to you can add a little bit but you don't want to add too much like just a very tiny amount like i add like anywhere from like 0 0.02 to like 0 0.1 at the most anything more than that i think i'm going to show you here just makes it extremely pixelated and just like it it just looks like shit pretty much it looks really grainy and you just don't want that at all. So just drag the reset to none uh, preset on there. And I'm going to show you here. Just dragging it all the way up to the top. Like you can see how like shitty that looks. Like there. You definitely don't want that. So bring it back down. Um, generally just a little bit of sharpness. Um, gen like it shouldn't be noticeable. Like maybe just a hair noticeable. Like just... It'll make it look better, but you shouldn't be able to tell that, like, someone put sharpness on their video, per se. Like, it, it'll just make it look look a little clearer, but it shouldn't stand out. Like, it should just kind of enhance it. Like, a, like I don't know, like, like I don't, I'm not going to make some stupid reference to the food that I was about to make, but whatever. Um, Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you find these helpful, just comment letting me know what else you want to see obviously give it a rating if you liked it then give it a like because that's what the like button's for and uh if you enjoy these please just let me know and i'm happy to keep bringing you guys these because i like helping people get learn things like i don't know like but uh all right i hope you guys enjoyed this and wait wait maybe i can make this 1337 all right see you guys later